You demand it, I got it. So Daddy's Home is a 2015 comedy starring Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. By the way, this movie could be one of two things. It's a Will Ferrell movie, so it could be one of two things. It could be one of those classics, or it could just be a very crap movie. And I would say this movie, it's in the middle. Okay, I'm lying. This movie leans more to... Not a classic, but this this was good. I enjoyed this. And right before I get into this review, I have to say that every movie Will Ferrell seems to do, he has a he has a hot wife. I, I don't I don't get it. He just has these hot wives and every movie he does, hopefully he's he's method acting. Hopefully he's method acting and uh <laughs> let's just let's get on with the review here. If you see some of my other reviews, I, I complain a lot about movies putting so much in the trailers and this movie put a lot in the trailer. In fact, the best scenes is in the trailer. The best stuff in this movie is in the trailers. And if you've seen the trailers, you've seen the best stuff this movie has to offer. That being said, Will Ferrell plays Brad. And Brad is, he is the prototypical worker, father, husband. He does that routinely seven days a week, and he has these two stepkids that are not his. Those kids are Mark Wahlberg's, and Mark Wahlberg has not been in the lives of his two children. After the forced reason this movie made, we get our plot and we get our movie, and that made me kind of dislike that part of the movie because it, it was just a, an easy way. It was just cheap writing right there. It was just an easy way to... Get our plot started. It was nothing creative, and it was it just was forced. Pretty much, Mark Wahlberg shows up at the house, and now they have this duel. This duel where they try to win over the kids and who could buy the best gifts and be the coolest. And that's that's pretty much what this movie is. And if you are going to watch this, you must know already that this movie is about that. I must say, I did feel like this movie was slanted in Mark Wahlberg's favor. And I understand that this movie had to be slanted in the favor of the 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 bad the lowdown father that has not been there. But I just felt like it was a little too much. It was Phil didn't get his fair shake of come ups in the movie, and that's one of the issues I had with this. It does have some bad edits where you can clearly see a stuntman doing some of the tricks that Mark Wahlberg or Will Ferrell does on the skateboards. That was another thing that kind of bothered me. They should have cleaned that up. They did it. So I got to dock it for my end score result at the end of this video. Another thing that I have to take points from this movie is this movie, it, it forces things. And when I say it forces things, when it's time for the movie needs this. So when the movie needed to end and wrap up, things just started happening very fast. They, they just had no cause. They just, they just happened. And I hate when movies do this, so I have to dock this movie for that also. I will say this movie had some cool scenes. A lot of the stuff, like I said, the funniest stuff is in the trailer. But some of the stuff that was not shown in the trailer is cool also. And the kids were good in this movie. The child actors were good in this. And my favorite comedian, Bill Burr, was in this movie. Uh, I, did, I, I did hate the last character that this movie presented. The very last. I did hate that. I did want someone else, so if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. As I said in the beginning, this movie is, it's not bad, but it's not something you're going to remember. It's not a classic. It doesn't do anything huge to make you really remember. It's, it's, you, you know what it is? It's a good movie to watch on TV every time it comes on, or if you have company to just throw the movie on and you guys can, your company and, and yourself, you can just laugh out loud and have a good time with it. This is what this movie is. So I will have to say that Daddy's Home, it's a 70 out of 100. 70 out of 100 for it. So guys, get in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out of here.